Now let's take a look at the highlighter tool. The highlighter tool is the third tool at the top of your screen. If you tap it a second time, you get many of the same options that we got with the pen tool. You can change the thickness of your highlighter. You can change it from a ballpoint highlighter, fountain highlighter, dashed, and dots. You can also change the colors. The colors will show up differently than their um, pen counterpart. So here's the pen magenta. Then if I grab the uh, highlighter magenta, you'll notice it's a little bit lighter. Um, something else that happens with this is if I write and then I use the highlighter, it's going to not go in front of the text, it's actually going behind. So if I zoom in, you can see that you don't see a line on that D where it crosses. If you do overlap the highlighter, you will get um, different opacity um, levels like you would with a regular highlighter, whereas with a pen, when you write over, you don't see that. The highlighter also works in a similar way to the pen to where if you um, push and hold when you're drawing a shape, it will auto-complete that shape for you. And you can add additional colors using that color wheel if you need to. You can also use the eyedropper tool to grab a color. Um, from anywhere on the page as well. If you have a color that you don't want anymore, if you push and hold, you can delete the color or edit the color if needed. So that is your highlighter tool in Notability.